the Creative PC900B Capnograph, available from Proact Medical. This demonstration video is not a replacement for reading and following the instructions for use included with each product. Please refer to the instructions for use for complete instruction, warnings and specifications for this product and its accessories. This video assumes the user has a basic understanding of capnography and pulse oximetry and their applications. The Creative PC900B is a handheld latest generation capnograph with pulse oximetry for adults and paediatrics. Capnography is of a side stream type. Importantly, it can be used for intubated and non-intubated patients. The capnography technology is low volume, non-dispersive infrared absorption and the SpO2 technology is Creative's own bespoke technology. The product is lightweight, compact, portable and robust and is suitable for a wide range of EMS, hospital and clinical scenarios. The product has a user adjustable alarm setting and many other built-in features. The Creative PC900B allows the use of both standard male fitting lure lines using the white T4F water trap filter and also low flow microstream compatible type sample lines using the orange T4M filter as the user requires. The monitor is also capable of capturing patients data and downloading to the free Windows PC software. Before using your PC900B for the first time, you will need to ensure the rechargeable lithium ion battery is fully charged. The PC900B comes with a variety of charging options, such as a UK or European type mains charger with USB cable, and an optional 12 VDC vehicle charger that is available to purchase additionally. Simply plug the charging cable into the mini USB port of your PC900B and charge until the battery level indicator is at full capacity. It takes approximately four hours to charge to full capacity and once fully charged will operate for approximately 10 hours continuously using both capnography and pulse oximetry. To switch your device on and off, you hold down the power button for a minimum of three seconds. You can then select to add a new patient by pressing the blue menu button, which will bring up the initial menu. Use the down arrows to select new patient. The patient ID section is for adding a 10 digit alphanumeric new patient ID. Scroll to ID and press enter. Use the arrow buttons to select the appropriate letters or numbers for your patient. Use the plus button to move to the next digit. Once you have finished inputting the chosen ID for your patient, press enter to take you to the next option on the menu. The patient ID is visible in the data download file and also on the main display screen of the PC900B. After selecting clear memory, selecting the yes prompt will delete any previous patient data or patient ID that is stored on the device. Make sure you have downloaded any previous patient data before clearing the memory as all patient data will be erased. If you are using the device with the same patient, select no to retain existing patient ID and add to the existing data for this patient. Please be sure to read your user manual fully. You can modify the memory mode. You can choose to set it to either auto loop or stop when full. Auto loop takes 24 hours of trending memory but as soon as it has reached 24 hours, it will delete the oldest data to record the new data. You can choose to set it as stop when full, and it will inform you when you have reached the maximum memory. You can also change the store sample rate to 12 seconds for 24 hours memory, 6 seconds for 12 hours, or 4 seconds for 8 hours. The longer the sample rate interval, the longer the memory you will have. The PC900B default is set to 12 seconds store sample rate. Patient type. You can choose between adult and paediatric patient settings. These have different default alarm settings that are fully detailed in the PC900B user manual that is provided. The power on ID prompt is the prompt that you saw at the beginning of the video. It will ask you if you would like to input new patient data every time you switch the device on. The prompt is set on as default, but you can choose to switch the prompt on and off. If you are using the device on a long-term patient, 
you may want to switch the prompt off. If you are using it short term on a patient and want to change the patient's ID between patients, then select yes so that the prompt flashes up every time your monitor is turned on. To save your settings, click save. The device will ask you to confirm your choice. Select the white highlighted option. These settings will now be latched to the device every time you turn the device on. After you have set your preferences, you will have to assemble the device. The device will come with six T4F water trap filters, two Proact gas sampling male to male lure lines, two elbow connectors, and an adult soft SPO2 sensor, table stand, and instructions for use manual. It is very important that you use the proper creative water trap filters or you risk damaging the unit and invalidating your warranty. To attach the water trap filter, you place it into the top of your device, making sure to line up the tabs, then push down and turn 45 degrees. The water trap filter will then lock into place securely and allow the pump to function. The water trap filter is a reusable item that can be used multiple times until the filter becomes either occluded with dirt or moisture. At this point, it must be replaced. Should the water trap filter or sample line become occluded or blocked, you will need to firstly check that there is not a problem with the sample line. If the sample line is not blocked, then you will need to change the water trap filter. Once you have the water trap filter attached, you will then need to attach the male to male lure line. It is very important that there are no leaks in this area as air ingress may affect the results shown on the monitor. The other end of the lure line can be attached either to a breathing filter or to a T-piece to sample gases from the patient airway circuit. For best accuracy, the gas sampling point should be as close to the patient as possible. Now the sample line and patient are connected, we can see how the capnogram works on screen. If you have a situation of apnea, the apnea alarm will trigger. The apnea alarm delay is user adjustable via the CO2 set menu. It should be noted that it is possible to switch off the apnea alarm within this menu. Next, we will need to connect the pulse oximetry sensor, making sure that the arrow is front facing. Once connected, you will see the pleft waveform signal amplitude bar and pulse oximetry values on screen, along with the SpO2 percentage and beats per minute. A special water trap filter, the orange T4M low flow microstream compatible filter is available to purchase for use with the PC900B. This allows the use of both orange short term and yellow long term microstream compatible sample lines. If you're using the low flow microstream compatible lines and orange T4M water trap filter, you will need to adjust the pump flow as you will now have a narrow bore sample line. It is designed for use with 50 mil per minute pump sample rate and the pump will need to be set accordingly. To do this, you will need to access the main menu again and find the CO2 set option. Once you are in the CO2 set menu, you will need to come down to flow rate and reduce the rate to 50 mil per minute, then exit the menu. Please note this setting will be latched and will remain until otherwise adjusted. For other non-microstream standard lure type sample lines, the pump flow rate should be reset to 100 mil per minute. We have a wide range of sample lines to suit different applications. To ensure proper performance and compatibility, it's very important that the sample lines you use are supplied by Proact Medical. We can discuss your needs and guarantee that lines you wish to use are compatible, giving accurate results with your Creative PC 900B capnograph. The simplest connection would be the T4F filter with a lure connection and the other end of the male sample line would connect to the port of a HME type filter in the circuit. The next option would be to add either an elbow or straight T-piece, which would be used in an intubated situation with a breathing circuit or on the end of an ET tube. At Proact Medical, we supply these lines complete with T-pieces already supplied. The next option is a unique emergency line which connects the water trap filter through the lure connector. 
This would be used for a single nostril and also allows the patient to breathe in and out through the nose while sampling. These are most suitable for emergency and trauma situations where simple and fast application is required. The next option is a nasal cannula for non-intubated patients with twin nasal prongs to pick up the CO2 with a male connection at the other end matching other sample lines. Similarly, we also have an oral nasal type line which will connect to the water trap filter. This line also has the ability to add oxygen which is supplied through one of the cannula. This allows you to monitor CO2 whilst giving oxygen. The last version we have is a CO2 sampling mask with oxygen delivery and sampling port attached. This also allows you to give oxygen whilst monitoring the patient. This allows you to monitor ventilation or respiratory rate and informs you that the patient is breathing correctly. You will need to use a male-to-male -male lure line to connect this mask, which can be connected to the water trap filter. Again, a key advantage of the PC900B is that it is a side stream capnograph. This means that it can work with intubated and non-intubated patients. Microstream compatible T4M filters must be purchased separately and are not provided with the basic PC900B unit. There are a wide range of creative SpO2 sensors that are compatible with the PC900B. This is the large silicon sensor that offers a very easy to clean, robust and comfortable sensor option. Other sensors in the range are the paediatric silicon sensor, the silicon wrap sensor that can be used on fingers or neonates. This can be attached to the side of the foot with securing tape that is included. We also have an adult finger clip sensor that fits like so, a paediatric sensor that fits in the same way. Lastly, we have a Velcro wrap sensor which can be used on fingers, side of foot or on toes. It is important you use only Creative SpO2 sensors available from Proact Medical. The Creative PC900B has a whole range of user adjustable features. These can be accessed via the blue menu button as mentioned previously. You can adjust the flow rate, apnea time and alarm settings along with many other features. Should you wish to reset your device to default settings, press load defaults. All menu settings and default settings are shown in the user manual provided. All alarm and menu settings are latching, which will remain even if the PC900B is switched off. The Creative 900B requires minimal maintenance. You will have routine replacements of the reusable water trap filter. This should be changed if it is seen to be obviously dirty or if there is an occlusion warning on screen. If there's any doubt of the performance of the device, we recommend changing the water trap filter. Cleaning your device. Other maintenance would be to clean the device. Only clean the device with a damp cloth and mild detergent or isopropyl alcohol wipes. Do not allow fluid to ingress into the monitor as this will damage the device and invalidate the warranty. The silicon rubber case is removable and may be cleaned separately. Other parts that require cleaning before use are the silicon SpO2 sensors. These can be gently turned inside out for cleaning convenience. The only other maintenance that this device requires is an annual calibration at a minimum. Twice yearly calibration is ideal. Please contact your nearest Proact distributor or office for more information and training for carrying out your calibration. A separate calibration training video is also available on request. The PC900B has the ability to collect patient's data and show it as a trend on your screen. To access the patient data and display this as a trend or table, you must go to the main menu and click Trend Menu. Then by pressing the up arrow button, you can access either tabular or trending information. To revert back to the main menu, press the blue menu button. See user manual for more information. You can also download the patient data that is recorded onto a program that is compatible with Windows PC. There is a free download of the program that can be accessed via the website below. Once you have connected your device to the PC via your USB cable and downloaded your data onto the computer,
complete documents and data acquisition. The program will notify you once the download is complete. The patient ID that you have entered onto the device will show on the left. If you click into that, it will then show the dates of the readings. Simply click into that to access your patient data. The program allows you to change time base and modify the view and units, etc. to suit your requirements. To print your data, click on the selected date and print as shown. We would like to remind you that this is a demonstrative video and it's to be used in conjunction with the user manual. We offer telephone and email support and will be pleased to assist you. You can purchase all of the products shown in this video from www.proactmedical.co.uk.